Okay, um, good day everyone. So, welcome to Simple Troubleshooting Tutorial. So, this time for today's video, um, it's all about how to transfer files from computer to cell phone and vice versa, cell phone to computer uh, via Bluetooth device. And also, I'm going to show you where to locate the file after being transferred, right? So, to start with, guys, I have here, as you can see, my screen, okay? Um, there, there is my phone. As you can see, it's there. You can see my phone and this folder here. Okay. So, first of all, let's transfer the file. So, before we transfer, guys, we need to know what is the Bluetooth name of our cell phone. So, we need to access the phone. There you go. So, there's the Bluetooth here. So, long press on this. Okay, there you go. So, then, you need to... Let's try... Let's just rest, uh, let's just reset. Okay. There you go. So, the device name of my phone is Oppo A9 2020. Okay. So, now let's send file from my laptop or desktop. Oh, yeah. Let's just make it laptop. Just in case your desktop doesn't have any Bluetooth. So, here. So, let's send this file. You can send file using shift, then hold multiple files. You can send multiple files by clicking, uh, holding on control, and then give a specific files. Or, you can just highlight if you want to send files. But in my case, I'm going to send one file only. As you can see, the name of our device, Oppo A9 2020. Let's right-click this file. Send. Send to Bluetooth device. So then locate natin. So si, let's locate Oppo A9 2020. Okay. So again, parang iba yung na-remove ko. Pero okay lang. So guys, ito, ito yung mangyayari guys. Dalawa kasi yung option eh. If you send the file, naka-send use authentication. Which means it gives you a pair code. If authenticated. Uh, yeah, authentication. If naka-uncheck, there's no need a code. Okay? So, in my case, since naka-connect na siya, there's no need a code on this. So, send. There you go. And then, may lalabas dito. Appears on my cell phone. Just accept. Then, wait for this part here to finish or 100%. Boom. Yeah. So, I think it's done. The file successfully transferred. Then, finish. Right? So, this time, guys, we might be wondering, um, Sir, saan yung makikita yung files? Where can, we, where can we locate the files? So, let's move to the home, home view of our cell phone. Okay, so I'm going to use my cursor here. Select the file manager, this one. Select the phone storage. Select the Bluetooth device. As you can see, wala siya. Okay, so which means the destination of the file sa Bluetooth is hindi dito. So which means on the other file or in the other or on another folder siya nakalocate. So let's locate and find that one. Go back. Okay. So locate the download. Iba kasi yung, iba din yung sa akin eh. So download. There you go. A Bluetooth folder. There you go. So, D-I-S-S, modium. Oops, I'm not going to open that one. So, there you go. Ganun lang, guys, on locating the file that, that being transferred from laptop to cell phone. Right? So, yan. Pwede, mo, pwede na yun ma-open. Pwede mo na yan i-open. So, this time, guys, I'm going to show you how to transfer back. Okay? So, which means yung cell phone na naman yung mag-transfer um, sa laptop. So, in my case, I need to know kung ano yung pangalan ng Bluetooth ng laptop ko. Okay? It's very basic to know. Pwede kang mag-right-click ka dito. This PC. Then, Properties. Yan. Itingnan mo yung device name. Laptop P3T7RMA. Or, pwede mong gamitin yung keyboard mo. Windows X. Ayan, lalabas tong ito. Tapos, select mo lang yung system. 
Ayan, the same thing pa si uh, the same thing pa din lalabas yung laptop P3 and yan. So which means ito yung pangalan ng Bluetooth ng laptop mo. Okay. So close natin yan. So to start with Okay, so tabi muna natin tong ano yung camera natin. Mm. So punta ka dito sa system tray ito yung bluetooth icon right click mo lang dyan tapos click mo yung receive file then dun ka sa cellphone mo example ito isisend natin to itong file na to okay isisend natin to ah long press lang yon, yan naka check sya if marami syang file you can select multiple files but in my case isa lang okay click on this sa bottom part send So, you have lots of options to send. You can use Bluetooth since we're going to use Bluetooth, guys. Then, anong pangalan ng laptop or yung Bluetooth device? It's Laptop P3. Yan. Ito yun na yun. Okay? So, then, click that one. Okay, there you go. So, lalabas siya dito. Boom! So, after sending, guys, it will show you this dialog box. Save the file received. So, you are, you are being asked, saan mo isi-save yung file? So, in my case, for this pra, uh, purpose lang na makita natin yung file, sa desktop ko yung ginawa. Okay? Desktop yung gagamitin ko as my destination for me to see if na-transfer na ba siya. Yan, desktop, then okay. Finish lang. And then, as you can see, lalabas yung DISS. Ito yung file na yun na tinatransfer natin. Makes sense. Alright. So... Good luck, right? So, another question. Sir, how about dinownload namin sa Facebook? Or kinuha namin sa Facebook, tapos saan yung location ng file? So, of course, kung cellphone ginamit nyo, nandito siya sa downloads. Balik dito sa file manager. Phone storage. Tapos, locate mo yung download. Letter D. D, 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 dito mo makikita yung files na dinownload mo sa Facebook. Okay? Copy. Okay, so if you have any questions regarding on how to transfer, where to locate the file, just comment down below. Right, so thank you so much.